Hello all, it's Lisa from ToCreateAWebsite.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a Twitter badge for your website or your blog. And a badge is just basically like a graphic that displays your most recent tweets from Twitter.com. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Twitter.com slash badges and I'll zoom into the address so you can see it. And then when you're there make sure you're logged in and you're going to go down here to other and then you're going to click continue and here you'll be presented with two options you can create a flash widget or you can create an HTML widget and in this tutorial we're gonna do the HTML widget um, as you can see the flash widget just took like forever to load that's one example of why I would not use the flash widget also if, if your visitors don't have flash 9 installed on their browser then they won't be able to see your widget and it will look like that big black box that you just saw when this page loaded so I would definitely choose the HTML JavaScript widget so we're gonna select that and click continue and here you can choose how many tweets you want your badge to display I have mine set to four so I'm just gonna select that just for the heck of it here you can put in the title for your Twitter updates I actually put no title because I created my title in my own graphics program and I'm gonna show you how I did that in just a second so once you do this now as you can see it's already giving you the code and this is the preview so you could actually just go with this if you wanted to but come on this is boring it's just nothing but text and some links yawn so we want to give your badge a little bit of style so that's when you need to open up your graphics program Photoshop um, Paint Shop Pro Corel Draw whatever you use and as you can see here this is the badge that I am currently using on my site see here's my badge right here and this is the background or the actual badge itself now you may notice it's quite long why would I make it so long it's actually 300 by 700 pixels high and the reason why it's so long is if I ever decide to change the amount of tweets that I am displaying on my badge then I want to allow myself some room without having to repeat the background image on my badge because this is actually just going to be the background image because we're going to be using CSS so it's always good to leave yourself some room so I made my badge 300 by 700 and of course with the width it can be whatever you need it to be if your area that you're gonna place this badge in is like 200 pixels then you'll make this 200 so you just make it the size that you need for your site or your blog and um, actually this was very easy to create I did it in like 10 seconds and I'm gonna just kinda go through a quick one real fast just so you can see so you open up a new palette and we'll just do the 300 by 700 again say okay um, we're gonna come over here and unlock the layer and I'm gonna right click the layer and choose the blending options and we're gonna go to stroke and we're gonna give this a little stroke on the inside make that a one inside color we'll just leave the color red we're going to give it a gradient you know I love my gradients if you just saw my background tutorial for Twitter um, you'll notice that uh, I love my gradient so we'll just choose this one for now I don't like that we'll just go with the orange and purple just for just for laughs um, and you say okay and you want to give it a title so we got the text tool here and you're just gonna say Lisa's Twitter updates dot 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 you can change the color of this if you want yeah. let's make it the same purple down here uh, I don't really like that but whatever this is just for a little test or sample so that's really all you need to do now if you want to put in the Twitter logo you can drag that in there uh, but I would definitely add some type of personalization to this badge put your site logo or your picture in my uh, badge as you can see I have a little picture of me the one reason I did that is because it will deter people from stealing your badge because if you do a generic you know Twitter update badge if somebody sees it and likes it and they don't want to create one for themselves or don't know how to create one they can just right click your page and steal your image so you want to add some type of personalization to it just to deter people from stealing your badge so I look at it like this unless somebody looks like me and their name is Lisa there's no reason for them to take this badge it will look kinda silly with that on their site so after you've created your badge you're just gonna go file save as and I save my uh, backgrounds as PNGs it's just a kind of a better quality background file you can choose JPEG if you want so you save that 
upload it to your server or your you know your web host and remember where you uploaded it and now you're going to style your badge okay for your site so remember Twitter gave you the code that you need to paste into your site so they've done most of the work now what you're gonna have to do is you see this first line here that says div ID equals Twitter underscore div that is the attribute you're going to have to style in your style sheet so let's open up Dreamweaver and this is not a CSS tutorial so I'm assuming you have a basic understanding of what CSS is and you know how to create a CSS page and you have uploaded to your site and the page that this badge will sit on is already linked to that style sheet so I'm not gonna go into any specific CSS tutorials for this video but what I'm, what I'm gonna do is show you my code and my badge side by side just so you can get an idea of what does what so I gave my my badge a width 290 now you might say wait a minute you just said it was 300 in the in the uh, in Photoshop well it is but I had to allow for the padding and the margin so I've got five pixels of padding on both sides so then the the 290 plus the 5 plus the 5 is the 300 so I made the width 290 the margin on the top is 30 pixels that's the area above the badge because I wanted it to be 30 pixels below this image that it is currently located below um, the background image that's the actual image that I just created in Photoshop and I uploaded it I should have used the relative path instead of the absolute but whatever you get the point <laughs> so when you create your image you upload it and then for the background image you give it that path and it'll automatically use that image and see as you can see it here it, it's truncated obviously because I'm only using four tweets but if I was using 20 tweets it would show more of the actual graphic I created that's why you want to make it longer okay and so you've got the um, Notice the background is set to no repeat. That is important because you don't want it to repeat the image. You just want it to show one time. Um, so I've got a border bottom. Um, and then down here, the Twitter underscore div ULLI, that the LI is your line item. So every tweet is a line item. So you want to give each tweet a style. So the color of my tweets is black. That's what the three zeros is for. List style is set to none. That's because I didn't, I didn't want bullets to show up if you don't add this line here then there are going to be bullets located next to each of your tweets and I, I just didn't want that font size text align padding the padding on the top that's the space between each tweet on the top the padding on the bottom the, that's the, the area on the bottom um, the dotted line I have a dotted line between each tweet that's what this area is and this is the color of the dotted line and then down here this is the color and decoration of my links inside of my tweet that's what this red color is here and when you hover over it it turns black and the line disappears that's what this does down here so this is actually the code that you need to style your badge and what I'll do is I will put this code in a, in a, on a page somewhere where you can get it from the video so look over in the description on the right side and I'll put a link to this code so you can actually copy it and edit it so all you have to do is paste this code into your style sheet and adjust it accordingly obviously you will change the background image to your own background image and then change the colors and everything like that so once you've done that you upload your your style sheet and then you grab this code that Twitter provided you and you paste it in the area on your site where you want your badge to show and voila you've got a Twitter badge and so as you can see I put mine on my blog right below one of my banners and there it is I've checked it out in IE it looks as, looks good pretty good in IE as well you definitely want to make sure it looks good in various browsers and different versions so um, hope that's helped you guys so I hope you go and uh, create your new badge and make all your friends jealous because they'll wonder how you got that cool little Twitter update badge on your site alright talk to you later bye bye